Sure. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, my name is Car Handling. I've been working in the, in the area of uh, artificial intelligence, applied artificial intelligence for more than eight years now. Uh, I've been recently the head of AI in Rappi, this delivery platform for Latin America. And I'm currently um, building my own path with my own startup, Truly, which uh, tries to close the gap between using artificial intelligence and machine learning in in the ecosystem of fintech in Latin America. Awesome, awesome. Oh, that's a great question. I mean, uh, I've always been a person uh, enthusiastic about technology and computing. Uh, although my path didn't begin with artificial intelligence, it actually began in the area of data science and applied data science. Uh, I think little by little we see a more blurred union between these areas, uh, especially since uh, the areas of advanced analytics, uh, data science, take algorithms and modeling and techniques that are used in applied artificial intelligence as we know it today to be able to attack real problems and challenges in the industry. And that's actually something that motivated me into um, doubling a little bit better or doubling a little bit deeper into artificial intelligence, at least in the field of work and how we know it today. Well, that's an excellent question. I mean, I love this type of webinar. I, I truly believe that these types of conferences uh, help democratize uh, knowledge also strengthen the connection between the industry and academia, which is <laughs> hardly done sometimes. And they sure. show a real side to the application of artificial intelligence, which is often a challenge uh, when you try to apply it in a real industry. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'll be talking about modern monitoring at scale. Uh, and the, in this case, participants uh, will learn about some of the recurring problems that exist when using uh, machine learning or applying machine learning in a real context or apply it in the real industry. So correct monitoring and anticipating pro potential problems that may exist or that may arise uh, will make a session a very fruitful one. So understanding the real problems, understanding uh, the real use cases are some things that the participants will take away from this this participation. Awesome. Sure, I mean, uh, what we have seen, especially in Latin America, is that we have a lot of talent and we depend a lot of this type of education to close the gap between education, knowledge, uh, and real practices in the industry will help these type of countries actually uh, grasp all the talent that they have to actually apply it in real use cases. So what we have seen, especially in Rappi, uh, as I was talking before, is bringing knowledge, bringing information, and bringing this type of conferences to the people across Latin America will actually help, help them build uh, better products uh, and close the gap between artificial intelligence and the industry. That's right. That's Absolutely, you said correctly. Uh, the, one of the mission of Truly is bring it, uh, artificial intelligence clo closer to our customers and, and actually be a catalyzer to, uh, for them to make better decisions. So when you say how important is model monitoring at scale for them and for us, it's one of the most important points, at least in my perspective, because it means closing the cycle. Monitoring means giving feedback to the system, getting feedback from the system and creating continuous learning, not only to explore the change in the system, but also to prevent and anticipate common problems that we mentioned before that usually exist at the time of use or at the time of, of production, deployment, etc. So uh, this technology in a real environment, uh, I mean, this technology talking about artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, changes input of variables very fast, especially in dynamic uh, settings. So usually uh, what we know as data trees of, of concept drift uh, might change the expected behavior of the model. So be able to monitor and adapt to this type of ever-changing environments is one of the most important things, at least that we, we know that model monitoring can help close that gap. That's right. and, and now
uh, I think we should be uh, really concerned in that case. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, the industry is moving to tackling these type of hard problems about mm -hmm. data privacy. And I think uh, it's a problem that we can also solve with technology itself. Absolutely, as you mentioned, as you mentioned in your question, uh, these are mo uh, some of the most common problems, uh, especially when you talk about the data. I mean, not even talking uh, and talking about the technical problems that will arise, like latency and even the model breaking down or not producing an unexpected behavior. But when you talk about data drift and concept drifts, are most of the um, overlooked problems in that uh, are tackled by using model monitoring. Um, they usually occur, especially in extremely dynamic systems, especially systems that constantly change and that, that we must rethink over and over again. So having a good model monitoring system uh, allows us actually to find the right time to retrain, adapt, or even uh, uh, bring down the model in, in the case of the systems. Uh, so uh, an important example occurs, uh, for example, in my area, at least in terms of fraud detection and credit risk management, uh, that usually are really dynamic systems. So the model that is in operation and the techniques that the users use for, for commit fraudulent behavior change constantly. So having a good model monitoring helps us adapt and have constant feedback of the way that the model is performing. So that's why it's something really important. 